all of Afghans are in trouble. I haven't seen my family seven and a half years ago since 2014. Can you imagine that? Either you go fight against them or either you finish your life. Please, UK government, do not punish my family. If any of them pass away, you know what will pass on me here? Three days ago, because they say, son, because of your work, you know the the, the neighboring the neighbors knows if they come to they take my two brothers. That's what they're gonna do. This is just, this is just the only beginning that Taliban is doing right now. It's just a new show. I'm sorry, like I have paid. It should come on. That's only the show. In the future, the world will know what will happen. And there won't be a media to show it to the world. So if they take my two brothers with them to fight, and I have an old mother, I have an old father, and if by somehow they come and by forcefully marry my sister with one of them, so how come you imagine these things as an eldest brother? There is two ways. Either you go fight against them, or either you finish your life. I am in real trouble. Just because of my work, please, UK government, do not punish my family. Do not leave them behind, because that's going to cause lots of life. If anything happened to my family, you know, uh, uh, how can I live that life after? You know, it's really hard. It's really hard. I'm struggling. I'm still struggling. You know, I'm kind of losing hope. Uh, it's, I haven't seen my family seven and a half years ago since 2014. Can you imagine that? When I came, uh, my mother hair and a father hair, it was black. But now because of attention, because of uh, security, because of, because of uh, humanitarian crisis back in Afghanistan, their hair is white now. Nothing scares me, not the loneliness, not this fight that I'm doing. The only thing scares me as a, as a, as a family guy, the real family man, if any of them pass away, you know what will pass on me here? What will I go through? I've already suffered a lot in Europe, so I've punished, I've received lots of punishment. I've spent two years of this life in a tent outside. So all of Afghans are in trouble. Their, their life is under threat if they don't follow Taliban rule. Ah, she's, uh, she said at the end, uh, uh, son, I'm okay. God bless you. Please don't worry about us that much because they, 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 they totally know about my situation, about my pain, that how much I struggle in Europe because they're just giving me hope. I am giving them hope. So it's, we are just kind of giving each other hope at the moment, try to survive. The only thing that is left is a hope. I hope there will be changes. I hope they will evacuate my family. 